Hello, hello everybody. <clears throat> Lotus flower, candle. So I like this flame and the ignition of spirit that we are in this space where we are light and we become light with the light. And the candle is representation of the burning flame of, of the spirit that also cleanses away the emotions, things that we no longer need, but also lights our path. Hopefully it won't go out. <laughs> so I'm gonna pass around the cacao in the cup. <coughs> what I usually do is pass to you first, and you pass the cup all the way around to get okay. to you, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're just putting in that energy from yourself, each and every one of you, until mm -hmm. it gets to the next person. Not? not yet, but yeah, <laughs> pass it around. Um, okay. Yeah, so pass it around. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You don't have to drink it all. If you really don't like the taste, you don't have to drink it at all. Can you just, just put a little bit in somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> you know the rest. That smells lovely, actually. Thank you. Uh, hold on. Yeah, hold out a minute. You only wanted a little bit, didn't you? That's it. bit more if anyone wants any after. <laughs> Always make sure there's more better than less. Yeah, there's some honey and sweetener here if you need it, but don't look at it like a, uh, a, a a treat, a sweet, you know, because see it more like a medicine and working with it if you can, if you really cannot stand the, the bitter taste. Bitters are good for you. Um, in the case of the cacao, just try and get it down you as fast as you can. I know it's a bit hot, but try not to sit there for half an hour like a cup of tea, you know, talking. <laughs> but if you like, with your own energy, just putting your hands into it, the healing energy from you, your intention, what you want to set for today, okay? If you have no idea why you're here, then probably ask that too. But it's just sitting with it, putting your intention to start the journey. Putting your, all your pain, all your love, all the problems. You might think, oh, why am I drinking my problems? But it's allowing those problems to come to the surface in order to deal with. So just in this space now, we're just drink and then and as, as we drink there are a number of cards here on the floor please feel free to mess them up as much as you like and pick them up and have a, a message for you so all these cards have been put down this morning and the intention that you get a good message okay
Yeah. It's a bit hot. We can just sniff it. I don't know, you might do. <laughs> it's related to the coffee bean, so it's a you know a bean, a cow bean. So it can give you a bit of a lift, but not the same jitters as coffee does. Mm. Well, yeah, it'll keep you quite wired for the rest of the day, but it'll give you a nice. Um, you've had it before, haven't you? Mm. Yeah. And it will give you a nice awaken, awoken sort of feeling and, and connected. It helps to open up the heart, so because it has a lot of theobromine in there, which is why we give chocolates like Valentine's Day and Christmas as, from love, because it helps open up the, the heart, the heart mm. centre, uh, floods the body with um, theobromine, a really good feeling uh, hormone and chemical in the body, makes us feel really good. So that, coupled with the breath work and the light machine, just adds a little bit of a boost, you know. And it's not an illegal substance, so, you know, it's all healthy. So I tend to ask you to pick up maybe three cards. And the way sometimes tarot does this, or all cards, is one is the past, one is the present, and one is the future, however you pick them up. And if you end up being clumsy and one stumbles and it's maybe you're supposed to pick that up. But feel free to make a mess, you know, these cards are for all of us, so... If you don't know how to read a card, as soon as you pick it up, it's not what the, re the writing says. Don't pay attention to the writing, it's the feelings you get from the card. It's the images, it's the colours representation of what you see in that card. It's like dreams. Only you can interpret your own dreams. No one else can read yeah. that from you. So, yes. You can take more than three if you haven't got your answer, it's fine, all right? Take as many as you need, there's plenty here. Thank you. Yeah, it took me a long while to find some really good sets. I've got about 15, 20 sets that I really like, because it's, it's the artwork that you've got to feel that connection with. And the artist has obviously drew them for that reason. So these are all these are all the back of the cards yeah, so no, these are all different sets yeah so different packs I know, that's one set. Yep. That's one set. And two there's four sets, sets here there's oh, one right. two okay. three four so they are yeah they're all different mm. so perhaps you found that you've picked up a card and that straight away that wow that makes sense to me all right because I get I I looked at all these cards earlier and I had a sense where these needed to go and hopefully they've gone to the right people and picked up. So once you've had your card, you've had the cacao, just so I know that you're ready, just place the cup in front of you when you're finished and just sit with your eyes closed. <laughs> you know, I, I start a short meditation to start this day. waiting for the others, just allow your body, brain and mind just to really ground and sink into this place right now. Just 
taking a subtle breath in through the nose and releasing out the mouth. <sighs> Two more times, so breathing in and release and relax. And the third time, releasing from the heart, so breathing in and releasing from the heart. That's good. So keeping your eyes shut, relaxing the body, keeping your back straight if you can. And we're just going to go on a bit of a journey journey away from this room, away from this reality for a short while. And right now, just feel yourself in this room, all parts of you, physically, mentally, emotionally, anything that may be bothering you right now that is undealt with. Allow that space to come back into when you go home. Before we start, I'd like to open up in prayer. Dear Great Spirit, our non-physical helpers, our non-physical friends, those that guide us into the light, into the very emotions and lessons that we need to learn in our earthly life, come to us now to assist us in this space, our guides, our helpers, our past ancestors, connecting with the bloodlines, the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom. Muchas gracias las plantas, muchas gracias las, las rutas, muchas gracias. Gracias. Thank you to all the spirit helpers around us. We open up this space, open up our hearts, and allow only the love and light into this space. And we shut off everything around us that no longer serves us. That we have this time for us right now in this space and this space that we create together, this environment can only be done so with your help and as a group, your journey. Just taking full body awareness right now, scanning your whole body for any stiff points, strain points, stiffness in your shoulders, your arms, your legs, and just relax. Allow me to look after you in this space let go and relax now. Now I'm going to take your awareness away from your physical body. Imagine yourself now looking down at this room for all these people, these lovely, beautiful people in this circle. Looking down in this room from the ceiling. The circle that we are in. Just get higher and higher now, beyond this building. Feeling a sense of our physical body down below in that room. Looking down on the retreat center in Somerset, surrounding your vision, your visual perception is fields for miles see the odd car going up and down the lane, a few patches of fields with cows and other animals, and just zoom out, zoom out, going backwards, like walking backwards, but floating backwards, looking down at planet Earth, United Kingdom, going past the stratosphere, out into space, Seeing Earth in the distance as we go past the moon. Just floating by now. So going past our solar system, all the major planets. Past nebulas and star systems. out into the never regions of space. And you are totally safe, weightlessness and free. It 
it's quiet. And the only sounds and information that come to you is the messages that you need to receive. And just allow yourself to hover and be still in the space just for a minute or so until I call you back. having total awareness now in this space. Thank whatever message came to you. And just start to make your journey back to Earth. Slowly and steadily. Picking up the speed. Going at light speed, going past all nebulas and star systems. Getting closer to our solar system in, in the galaxy, in the horizon in the distance, as we get closer and closer, all past the major planets, the sun in the distance, Earth and its moon, our Earth, as we get closer, zooming in closer to the Earth itself, getting closer to Earth, getting closer to United Kingdom, down into the southwest, zooming in down into Somerset, coming back into the retreat center, hovering over the building and finding the room that we've been in, visualizing us all in a group, in a circle, sitting, and just coming back slowly in your body having full bodily awareness, feeling lighter, connected, coming back into your body, wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes, coming back in this space, and just open your eyes when you're ready, coming back in the space. Hopefully you're feeling a bit more grounded now, better here, okay. So, <coughs> next point is now getting into back in the room, 
There's free spaces under each lamp, so you can spread yourself out a little bit more. Do you recommend going to the toilet first of all? Okay, um, toilet's through there, um, first right. Otherwise, if you don't need to go, just go and make, make yourself comfortable, and yeah, we'll make a start. Okay. <coughs>